So we're gonna fry up some chicken here. And so you can put whatever spices you like. I like to use a little seasoning salt. So just get like, like a, sp a small spoonful. You know, I'm gonna sprinkle some in here. And this is just plain flour with the seasoning salt. And then I got a little more here. And with this side, what I'm going to do is add some water to make kind of a, I don't know, what would you call that? Just a little flour and water. Make like a, a slight batter. Get the chicken. Mm -hmm. Probably so it. here's the chicken. You could have the chicken in buttermilk if you wanted to, but we're just gonna, you know, the chicken's wet. And what I'm gonna do is put it into the flour. Then we're gonna put it here. All right, and once it goes in here, goes back into the flour again. Like double layering it. Mm -hmm. And then we put it on a plate to wait. All right, so now we're over at the stove and I've had this heating up and to check the temperature, I like to pour water into the empty pan. You don't want to do this if there's oil in there though, because that could be disastrous. All right, so let me get the oil. And today I'm using peanut oil. And I have a brand new Bottle of peanut oil. So you need about, I would say about a half inch or so. I think I'm going to do a little more. But this is a huge skillet. So for me, I used about a cup of oil. All right, so I want to wait a little bit on this oil. And to test it, you could put just a little bit of flour. See how the flour goes? So there was no reaction, so that oil is not ready. Now once that flour starts to simmer, then you know your oil's hot enough. Okay, it's been a couple more minutes, so let's see where we're at with this. All right, you see the reaction of the flour? That's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my skillet to medium and then put a few pieces of chicken in here. Okay, look, it's the first pieces out. Let's try it. I got me a little bit of it. Good go. Mm-hmm. I like it. I can't wait till the rest is done with the waffles. That's gonna be good. Uh -huh. So Lucas and I, we're making some waffles and we're using an instant mix. And this one, to make it a little healthier, we got a uh, Kodiak Cakes and it's called Power Cakes Flapjack and Waffle Mix and buttermilk. You just add water to it. So it's 50-50. So one cup of water and one cup of the mix and then a spoonful of oil, a tablespoon of oil. Okay. So what we have here, we have the waffle maker 
And what I'm going to do is I got a little oil here. And I'm going to brush the waffle maker with a little oil. Just to make sure it doesn't stick. Makes it a little easier. Lucas, you need to come watch so you can see. So then... You just fill it up like that, Lucas. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more. All right. And then you close it. Yep, close it. And wait for the light to go off, and then you're ready. So you got to get a plate so you can put your waffles cooked on. waffles in it. And we need something to take the waffles out. Something that's non-metal. So metal. Alright, so we have our second waffle done. Those look like they turn out good. You hey. struggling? Yeah, I'm struggling. You struggle too. <gasps> And you gotta stop eating the waffles, we ain't gonna have no waffles. Good. For the chicken. I didn't even touch the chicken. I said we're not gonna have waffles <laughs> for the chicken. I didn't say we were gonna be out of chicken. <laughs> yeah, I got boy problems. Stop talking. <laughs> You're just jealous because you don't look like Lizzo. No. <laughs> All right, let's fill it up. Lucas, stop eating the waffles. Those are crumb. Right in the middle. All right, you want to fill about halfway. Like, give it, get just a little bit more on the side. Not much more, though. There you go. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right, that's good. Believe me, I've had to clean this waffle maker because I overfilled it myself when I first got it. It's not fun. So he's putting maple syrup on his. Careful, maple syrup's expensive, buddy. Now I'm gonna put some honey on mine. Can you pass me the honey, please? All right, put the lid, please, on the maple syrup. I'm gonna put a little honey on mine. You know, however you like it. Some people put gravy on theirs. So this is our chicken and waffles. It's good. What do you think, Lucas? I haven't tried it yet. 